Welcome to another exciting tutorial. This time we're going to make an angel look. So you probably sometimes see these on wedding photos or something like that. So we have picture selected of a nice lady. So I'm going to do a quick selection of her. That's pretty good already. Get a bit more of a hair up here. Just, I'm just going to press F to give myself a tiny bit more room and select that. Select refine edge. We want the radius way up. There we go. We want decontaminate colors on. Let's bring the smoothness down. Feather will leave down contrast up and the shift edge will, will reduce somewhat to around three. There we go. Decontaminate the colours will make that quite strong. Just going to work on some of this hair here. That's um, not good. Control Z. Just telling Photoshop to concentrate on this part because there's a bit of hair that's. There we go. This bit here doesn't look quite right. That's better. And I'm happy with that. Okay, that's going to put it onto a new layer. Turn the original back on, select onto the original, and blur it. Before we blur it, actually, we're going to go to the adjustments, curves, and just ramp them up, way up. Then we're going to go filter, blur. Go to field blur. Drag the first pin to the bottom left. And then we're going to drop another pin in at the top right. And we're going to increase the swivel of that. And then we're going to put another pin there. And increase the swivel on that. I just want this camera because it's so near to the camera, if you like slightly more in focus than the rest okay there we go okay it's going to take its time because we've, we've asked it to do a lot of blurring and it's repeating edge pixels because when it blurs it looks for the pixels nearby blends them obviously if you're at the edge of the picture it has to guess what would be there because there is nothing it's the edge of the picture come on And hopefully those hairs should still be quite sharp because they're on a new layer which is masked. Come on. And there we have it, a little ding telling me it's done. And yes, we do have some hair. It's not perfect, but what we can do is go onto the mask. D for default colours, brush, and we want to reveal so I think there's a bit of hair there. Just thin it out a bit. There's a bit of a hair there. And that's rubbish. Let's undo that one. But that bit there was fine. I'm pressing control. Alt and Z to undo multiple steps. Right, now for the angel look. Let's get the background first of all. When we've blurred it, we've increased the light. So what we want to do is filter, filter gallery. And we're looking for something called, where is it? If it's not there, it's in an artistic. Help if I could remember what the filter was called. Diffuse glow. Zoom out a bit. Perfect. Let's increase the glow a little. Clear amount. Okay. And then we click on the model. We're going to do the same again, but this time 
not quite so much. Why am I looking for blur when it's at stylize? Why am I saying it's at stylize? Diffuse. Ansioscopic. Okay. And then filter. Filter gallery. Why some of them are hidden in here, I don't know. There she is. Now let's increase this glow amount. Put a bit of grain in. Bring the clear amount down a touch. Okay. And there we go. Looking like a nice angel. Now what the only thing that I don't like about this is I want her sharp, I want the background blurry, but where she joins onto the background is too much of a thing. So what we're going to do is with the mask selected, press D to get the default colours. Remember black is hide and white is show. And with the top being, <coughs> being sharp and the back being thing we want to delete, so press X increase the size of the brush make sure hardness is way down if I just draw just slightly on the edge there I can increase the size a bit more I'm just softening out the the edge I don't want to delete it or bring it down I just want to soften it so she's not quite so sharp against the blurred background and that's perfect I'm happy with that she looks like an angel perhaps we can put some text in I like to choose a middle grey for text because it just gives you that many options to mess around with it later and just call it angel why is that not God. let's try that again T Angel. Press Control T to transform it and bring it into size. Okay, enter to accept. I just want to increase the spacing a bit so we where's the there we go. Drag the VA out a bit. Bold. That's fine. Let's have a look at some effects. Let's give it a gradient overlay. And we're going to choose that one. It's going into non fading into non existence, but the reason it's not going into non existence is because it was grey before. So if we let it go from grey to white. Okay, then we're just going to give it a drop shadow. I'm going to increase all these sliders slightly. Bring the opacity down. Okay. And then if we go to fill and reduce that, that gets rid of the grey and that's just the effect that's there now. Hasn't really had that much of a difference because it's all effect. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed this one.